Hey guys, the Super Review Show. Justice League Part 1. Chris Terrio has come out and said the script is done. We're all ready to shoot the thing. And it's going to be a two-parter with Part 2. Come on, you can't get any better than that. Now, Chris Terrio, obviously, he wrote Argo. Won an Oscar for Argo. He wrote Batman vs. Superman with a little bit of Ben Affleck's put input with the Zack Snyder and David Goyer's taste in there, too. Um, not only that, but you also have an Oscar-level writer writing superhero movies. What more could you ask for? I don't understand why people are, can whine and complain about that. Like, oh my god, I can't believe Ben Affleck has, has too much power in the DCCU. Whatever, man. No, you want him to have more power. Because, look, he is the biggest, sweatiest nerd actor. With all the talent that he has, he is one of those people in Hollywood that will listen to the fans and give it a great movie, whether it's Batman vs. Superman or in a Batman movie. I mean, you, you, cannot, you cannot beat the guy who... He's, he's one of those guys who just he listens to the fans. He's a total nerd. He understands Batman more than anyone else on the planet. And he... Loves playing Batman. I'm focused on what I read. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, but yes, sorry, I went off a little tangent there. Justice League Part 1 script done. Tell me what you think about that. What storyline could they use? Could they use Injustice Gods Among Us? Could they use Kingdom Come? Could they use a different storyline? Let me know what you guys think. Jump in the comment section and let me know what, what storyline could Justice League Part 1 and Part 2 follow. So for all your Justice League updates, keep it locked on the Super Review Show. I'll see you later.